in this short video, I will show you the new Kafka Connect build, uh, declarative management of connector plugins for Kafka Connect deployments, which is a new feature which we just merged uh, into the Strunzi master branch and which uh, will be soon coming to the Strunzi clusters in your cloud. As you can see, I have already my Kafka cluster deployed here. Uh, so that's ready. And all I need to do now is to deploy the Kafka Connect cluster. And I'm using for it the regular Kafka Connect custom resource. I enable the connector operator. I name it my connect. And it has the usual options, number of replicas, bootstrap servers configuration. But then it also has this new build option. And in this build option, I first have to specify the output. So where should the newly built container image with the additional plugins be stored? You have to provide it with the container registry because Trimzy does not run its own container registry, but it can use your internal container registry or Docker Hub or Quay.io, whatever you are normally using. And then in the plugin section, I can specify all the different connector plugins which uh, I want to add. So I going to add uh, camel timer connector. Uh, so I specify the targz archive, uh, which you can download from this URL. And for security reasons, I also specify the checksum, which will be verified while building the new container image. And I also add my own uh, echo sync connector, which I'm going to use as well. I will use the timer connector to send the new message every second. Uh, it will basically generate the messages and send them to Kafka. And then uh, I will use the Echo Sync connector to read the messages from Kafka and show them in the Kafka Connect uh, logs. And uh, again, here I just specify the jar file and the URL where it can be downloaded and to check some for the verification. And then uh, that exists already for some time. I also directly in the same file specify the Kafka connector resources. So the parts in the Kafka connect resource, they define which connectors should be added to the Kafka connect deployment. And the Kafka connector resources actually create an instance of these plugins, which will be running and doing something. So I have one Kafka connector for the Echo Sync plugin, uh, Echo Sync connector, and one for the Camel Timer source connector. So when I do, kubectl apply on it, it will get all created. And when I watch the pods, uh, we will see that there's already new build pod starting, uh, which uh, will build the new container where these uh, pods, uh, these new plugins will be added. Uh, the build, uh, how long does it take? It depends a bit on uh, how many connectors you are adding, how fast your connection is to download the artifacts, how fast your connection to the container registry is to push the new image. So it can take uh, half a minute, minute, few minutes, depending on your configuration. And uh, once the build is finished, you will see that uh, it will automatically deploy the Kafka Connect cluster and use the the newly built uh, container for this cluster. So it will already have these new connector plugins available. And we can see the build is finished now and it's deploying the connect. It will again take uh, 30 seconds or one minute to get ready. Uh, and uh, once it gets ready, it will automatically deploy the connectors which we configured. And we should be able to see the the messages in the log output. The nice thing about this new feature is uh, that you can easily create a recipe uh, for your connector for downloading the plugins and for running the plugins. And you can really just uh, share it as one big uh, YAML file containing all the different resources. And uh, other users or colleagues can easily take that, deploy that, and uh, use it on your own. They don't have to build uh, any container image manually. They don't need to write any Docker files uh, or anything like that anymore. So we can see that the connect is now ready. 
So let's do qcuddle get Kafka connect OYAML. And we should see that the connector plugins which we added there are available now. You can see this is the timer connector and this is the echo sync connector. And of course, there are also all the other, all the default uh, Kafka Connect connectors as well. And what we can also do, kubectl get kctr, that shows that the connectors are both there and they are both running. So uh, let's have a look at, they are sending the messages. So we take the Kafka Connect pod and uh, just get the lock out of it. And we can see how uh, every second new message uh, is added here, which uh, contains some dummy message, hello world, and uh, timestamp, which is always changing as the new messages are sent. So the connector plugins are there, the connectors were deployed, all done from a single YAML without building any images manually.